What is up everybody? Today is Friday and I kind of wanted to start a new theme for Fridays called Fearless Fridays. And so on Friday, I want to kind of challenge myself and then also challenge you to do something to step out of your own comfort zone, to face your fears. And I definitely want to make this an every Friday thing. <music> So for this first Friday on Fearless Friday, I wanted to kind of start out with something that really resonated with me and I'm hoping will, will really resonate with you and that's the fear of failure. And so just recently I have kind of finished everything uh, with my nonprofit. And so if you didn't know, I started up a nonprofit that helps other nonprofits with video and photography work all for free. So. I want nonprofits that are doing amazing things to be able to tell their story and get their message out there without having to worry about any of the, you know, the pricing and just everything that goes into creating a video because it can cost a lot of money. And so if they can just stick to what they're best at, I think we can come in and help them with what I think we're best at. And so kind of putting it all together, getting all the paperwork done, get, getting my 501c3 status. And now just this week, I finally finished the website and I'm really excited uh, about it. But at the same time, all of this kind of comes together uh, with, this, with this possibility for failure. What if nobody uses it? What if nobody cares about it? What if nobody um, you know, really supports what we're doing with this nonprofit? And it is something that's so close to my heart. I want this channel and I want kind of my whole life to just be about giving back. I think that's one of the reasons why we're here. It's so that we can help other people, so we can give back. And so I want this channel to, to reflect that. And that's what I wanted the nonprofit to reflect as well. But I wanted to kind of create this, this culture of encouragement as well. So in the comments below, let me know kind of what your dreams and your hopes are that, that you've been just a little bit nervous to, to get out and fully do and that we can kind of create this whole community and culture together where we can support each other and encourage each other. So I wanna share three things that really helped me in kind of conquering this fear of failure when actually getting this nonprofit up and running. So the first thing that I did was kind of reframed my, my goals. And so what that kind of entailed was instead of saying, I'm gonna have this nonprofit up and running and it's gonna be you know, getting $50,000 of funding in the first year, I kind of switched everything to making it a learning process. So instead of having these, uh, these goals, it was, let me learn how to create a nonprofit. And so in that way, there's, there is no real way of failing. I'm, I'm learning as I'm going and even if it doesn't work, I, I don't get granted the the status of a 501c3 nonprofit, or I, I don't get the funding that, um, you know, that $50,000 or, or whatever, that, whatever it is, um, I'm still learning. And so I'm still achieving that goal. Now, I've still set goals as well of, of you know, getting the, the status and then also uh, the, the goals for what I'd like the nonprofit to get in funding and, and the grants that I'd like to apply for. But that being said, I still set that first goal of, I just want to learn. I just want to learn how to create this nonprofit. And that way I was able to hit that. And then it kind of propelled me forward and gave me a little bit, um, you know, a little bit more momentum, a little bit more confidence. So I think for the first thing, I just kind of reframed my goal and learning is, learning is always good. <laughs> I never want to stop learning. Um, so I think having that as that reframing is, is perfect. Um, you, you can never really fail. You always learn. Even in your failures, you're, you're learning. The second thing I did was actually visualize or think about what failing would actually be like and which hurdles I'd actually have to jump over. And so that kind of did two things. One was when I looked at those fears or when I looked at the reasons why I didn't want to do it, I was able to really see the, the root of what I was afraid of. And the second thing it did was when I was visualizing what that would actually look like, for me anyways, it actually wasn't that big of a deal. Who cares if I don't get granted my 501c3 status? I can try again, that's totally okay. 
And if I don't get the funding that, that I've set as a goal, that's okay too. I can learn from those mistakes and, you know, do better on the next try or, or figure out ways to, to overcome the, the reasons that I failed. And so when I actually visualized what it would be like to fail and when I actually let that, that fear of, of failing kind of set in, it really kind of reshaped things and reframed what it would look like and it, it didn't actually seem as scary as what I thought it would be. And thirdly, the last thing that I did was talk to a whole bunch of friends and family. And so for me, it was great because I had a whole bunch of really supportive people around me that really encouraged me, that thought the idea was, was really awesome. And so that really propelled me to, to move forward too. And it gave me that confidence, it gave me that energy, and just really allowed me to just chase after it, no holds barred. Um, and so, yeah, it was just this really good boost of an encouragement. So I would encourage uh, you guys, the, the third thing is just get yourself around people that will encourage you, that see your vision, that, um, yeah, th that are really excited about what you're doing. Now, <laughs> as a side note, it's also important to listen to the feedback that people give you. Um, just because somebody disagrees with you or doesn't like what you're doing doesn't necessarily mean they're just a hater. Maybe it means that they're actually giving good advice and, and those are things to always take with a grain of salt and listen to what they're saying and, and be able to learn from things that people might not agree with or might not be as excited as you are. But again, I would just try to, or, or what I did was, I just tried to get myself around people that really saw my vision, that really understood what I was trying to do and, and got really excited about it as well. So that really, really helped kind of propel um, me past that fear. And so with all that said, my challenge to all of you is to kind of overcome that fear of failure. Let me know if any of those three things that I had suggested helps in any way. Uh, I'd love to know what your passions are, what your dreams are that, that you're hoping to achieve, that you're looking to do, and maybe have that fear or are just a little scared to take that first step. And I just, again, would love to create this community of, of positivity, of helping, of giving back, and just to be able to kind of propel you forward and, and be able to chase after those goals. So again, let me know in the comments below. And thank you again for checking out this video. Again, Fearless Friday, every single Friday. Pretty excited for next week as well. Uh, although obviously a little scared, a little nervous, but that is okay. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help. And I will see you all on the next video.